Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to another episode of Cloud Moot SMP. This is episode 4, I believe. I hope that's right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera, and I've gotten the nether portal moved here to the pyramid. Uh, and I guess this is the town center area. Uh, moved it out of this area, and seriously guys... Like, clean up the glass, please. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll probably have to do some cleanup work on the server because I know a lot of people have been moving around. So, yeah, move the portal from here to the uh, brick pyramid. You can see it from there. Uh, so, yeah, very exciting. But I'm going to be doing something, uh, a little bit of work that involves me going into game mode. Now, hold on. Nobody freak out. I have the op permissions and kind of control all this stuff. But we're going to be... Uh, not if I set this up, but we're going to be moving this system that basically just tells people that you know you're recording now. Uh, we're going to change this and move it to this pyramid over here. I'm going to set it up a little bit um, more advanced this time. Uh, so hopefully we can accomplish that in today's episode. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of uh, work here. Not going to get any. Not going to like start doing stuff that doesn't have anything to do with, uh, I don't know, what we're doing here. Like, I'm not going to start, you know, building things out of, you know, creative mode and all that, just getting this kind of set up. So, inside the pyramid here is where we're going to run our command blocks. Um, I figured it'd be a good place to do this. That's one of the reasons for building uh, this pyramid was to uh, get the command blocks set up. So, let me grab, uh, what kind of block do I want to use for this redstone wire? Um, I don't really want to use anything that anybody's going to, like, come in here and take. So uh, let's just go with some. Mm, let's go with some blue wool. I've always wanted to use blue wool for this. So what we're gonna do is have a redstone wire there, and then what's going to do is uh, what we need to do is first figure out. Uh, we need to set up some scoreboard things. So scoreboard objectives, add, and then we're gonna put uh, currently recording. Let's just put recording. Let's not put currently. I thought about doing currently, but uh, let's just put recording. Uh, whoops. And then we're going to set this to a... Whoops. Don't want all of that yet. Uh, set this to a dummy uh, objective. So then what we're going to do is do uh, set, set display. Whoops. Scoreboard. Set display. Scoreboard objectives. Set display. Sidebar. Uh, be recording. Okay, so then what we have to do, I have to copy, I have to figure out all this. Um, players set, um, it would be at P. Uh, it would be recording and then one. And yes, that would do that. And then what we would have to do is scoreboard object or players. Uh, remove cube plays MC or it would be at P sorry at P recording whoops at P recording objectives set to one move one oh I want to clear is there a clear option here uh, remove reset operation Reset, keep it place MC, recording. Okay, that would do that. All right, so that's what we need to do. We need to first have the scoreboard and copy that. So scoreboard player set at P recording one. So let's just go ahead and test this out real quick. Let's just leave that open. Um, and we'll have a button here. There we go, recording. And then what we need to do is over here have a way to turn that off. But let's quickly reset that. And then what we need to do is have an announcement for everyone. So, um, slash me at p is now recording. I wonder if this will work the way I'm hoping it will. Um, let's just try this. 
I forgot to, why did I remove my button? Yeah, Cubic Plays is now recording. Okay, um, I wonder if it's an at A command. What will this do if it's... I wonder if, no, if at A is now recording, it's gonna tell everyone. So I think that's what we're gonna do is at P is now recording. Um, so let's just remove that real quick. And get rid of that grass as well. I think this command is kind of set now. I don't know if there's anything I really want to mess around with. I think the two command blocks are set pretty well. Um, so yeah, now we need to set up a clear option for this. So let's just put a button here. Uh, we probably need to put signs. Um, press press if recording press if not recording there we go and then we just need to open up this real quick okay so now we need to let's actually do a different wool type here so that way we know the commands so we don't have to keep looking um, I should know this anyway so it's not a big deal uh, okay so then what we need to do is have the command that we just uh, put into here, reset recording. Uh, what we need to do is just copy that, and put that in there, and then we need to tell everyone slash me at he is no longer recording. Whoops, typing like crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, it's no longer recording. Let's, uh, all right, so let's test this out now. So, keep a place now recording. Uh, we could actually, do we want to set this to just one, or can we set it to zero maybe, and still have it display? Let's try this real quick. Um, keep a place no longer recording. Keep a place recording. All right, we'll just have it at zero. Uh, that way, it will still display, but we don't need a one there. Um, and then place is no longer recording. Okay, uh, I kind of wish if there was like a tab option, but we have the Keller names, so I really don't want to do that because then I have to reset everybody's Keller names and stuff, so it would just be uh, too much of a hassle. Um, so yeah, I think these are good now. Just test it again. Yeah, I'm recording right now, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And... Um, I've been thinking about possible other command options that we could do here on the server, like an announcement system, maybe if there's an event coming up. Um, but that would be something that I think we'd only set up if we have an event coming up. So I'm not really going to do anything with that now. But let's get rid of all of these things out of our inventory. We had the grass blocks originally. And let's jump back into a less cheaty game mode. <laughs> uh, game mode zero. And let's get all of our stuff back into our inventory. And uh, I do want to reassure you guys that I do not game mode anything here on the server. Everything I got here is legit. I do not do any of that. Because honestly, like, I will tell you this, guys. Whenever I game mode on any type... Like, I, I used to, uh, before I started recording, I used to game mode in Survival Worlds. And honestly, it ruined the game for me. It really did. Game moding in Survival Worlds ruins the game for me. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put this recording. Uh, let's just do this from the top here. Recording option now at nether brick pyramid. I'm hoping I'm still in pyramid, right? I'm pretty sure I am. Pyramids. <laughs> no, nether brick. No. Um, all right, just. Let me type this up again real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right, so recording option now at the nether brick pyramids. Nice, nether brick pyramid. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of things are moving out of the village here, mainly because I think it's time that we start to, like we're going to keep the village, I think, but I think it's time to start to move out, move into a proper spawn town. And uh, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and sleep because I'm on the only one on the server. I am at three deaths, by the way. Uh, I died in the nether twice from fall damage. Don't ask me why. Um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and sleep real quick and uh, get the night going. Oh, the chat is spammed. 
Uh, so yeah, now what I want to do, do I have a silk touch? I don't even think I do. No, I, I don't have a silk touch. I'm not sure why I thought I did. Uh, but I want to do some cleanup here on the server. Kind of that cleanup crew. I mean, there's so many projects I want to work on. And it's just like, you know, it's a little bit annoying whenever you know, I see stuff. Because like my OCD kicks in, I guess. Uh, whenever I see, you know, um, like glass in the open or whatever. That's just, it, it, it grinds me. It really does. It, it makes me feel... Uh, I don't know, kind of bad. So, uh, what do we need? I need more cobblestone. I don't have any cobblestone. Oh my gosh, first world Minecraft problems. <laughs> don't have cobblestone. Actually, that might be a third world Minecraft problem. If you don't have cobblestone, it's a skyblock problem. Okay, so one of the things I want to do now is I'm going to clean up this area because this thing, this is ridiculous, okay? <laughs> uh, let's just get rid of you. And I'm going to work on getting these sunflowers pulled out here. Because originally this area was set out to be a quarry. And then uh, we kind of decided not to do that. I think I'm going to do that now though. Now that I, um, Hulkish Pig and uh, Jeremiah and I don't know who else was living here. Uh, has moved out. They went and started another village. I don't know where it is. So don't ask me. Um... Yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and get this cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to tear down the walls as well. And I'm going to start working on setting up the quarry uh, a little bit here. So I have messed around with the server a little bit more. Um, this guy's like finishing the quarry for me. <laughs> I have messed around with the server a little bit. Uh, the server commands at least. Like, you know, we just did that command. That More of the permissions and so forth. And I changed how the op permission works. So op level is now one for everyone besides me, Zuki, and games, who basically kind of run and control the whitelist on the server and stuff. So that way people can't whitelist anyone. You can't teleport. You can't uh, game mode on the server if you're op level one, which is that which is what everyone is now set by default as. So the only reason I did this because I looked at the server logs. I'm not gonna say who it was. But we had uh, a couple people uh, like game moding on the server. And it's like, you know what, guys, come on. <laughs> Let's not do this. Um, so, yeah, my thing is, like, you know, I know, like, several people have been like, but, you know, I'm stuck in the nether. Well, figure out a way out. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> it's not that difficult uh, to say that. And then if you're really lost, you should have screenshotted the coordinates. Uh, but, yeah, let's go ahead and get that untilled there. Uh, then we need to tear out this acacia wood here. Some of the stuff I could use for building actually. So it's like a pick cleaning up the or claiming the loot I guess. Um, and uh, we're going to mark this area out for official quarry so no one builds here. Um, and I'm going to tear down these cobblestone walls as well because something that needs to happen here. So yeah I've been messing around with the server a little bit. Um, I'm trying to avoid from doing this, but we might have to set up a vault system, like a way that you put a sign on a chest and it locks that chest to only the player, uh, because we've had issues where apparently things are getting stolen. Here's my theory of what's happening. Somebody looked in, you know, that person's mailbox and like, oh yeah, I'll give this to them later. So they have it in their inventory right now, and it's just a confusion. That's my deal. Oh my gosh, I don't have any cobblestone. I know where I can find some cobblestone. <laughs> Let's just tear out the wall. Um, so yeah, that's my theory of what's happening. It's just that there's somebody has it, stuff like that in their inventory and just hasn't returned it or didn't realize that it was someone else's and that sort of thing. That's my thing. That's at least what I'm seeing um, or hearing about. Because I look, yesterday, like we were, you know, a lot of people were complaining about like, oh my gosh, my stuff was getting stolen. So I went in game mode 3, which basically allows you to go through blocks and everything, and looked around spawn to see, like, looked in every chest um, that I could see, and any hidden chests underground or anything, I didn't see anything that was like, oh yeah, that's definitely their stolen stuff. So, yeah, um, what's down here? I don't want to wreck anybody's, this is just a random chest. <laughs> 
All right, so yeah, we're going to start marking out this area for the quarry. Um, hopefully nobody will uh, do anything to build here. I, like, it would be so much easier if these guys had cleaned up everything here. But uh, I guess we can kind of live with what we've got going on here. That's a terrible... Okay, guys, never build a stairway like this. Because, look, you just hit your... Oh, you don't hit your head. What kind of... Oh, yeah, you have to jump up all the time. Like, what is going on here? This is the worst. Well, coal. I'll take the coal, though. Gladly get some of this. I won't take it all. Because, uh, hopefully, like, the idea of the quarry is that we can get cobblestone and a lot of resources from it. So, yeah, let's just start. I'm going to continue tearing down some of this stuff. Uh, probably maybe time-lapse it of tearing down the walls and so forth. And uh, we'll set up the quarry because I got an idea of how to mark it out and make it look nice. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. So we've gotten this area specked out to be a quarry. Um, I am going to torch it up a little bit because I don't plan on doing any digging in it today. And I know what's going to happen, okay? So somebody's going to come in here and then there's going to be a creeper blast and it's going to blow up all the stained glass and it won't get fixed. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and... I want to work on another project for today's episode because yeah, you know, I want to cram in as much as possible into these episodes because it's not often I get to record. That's one thing that frustrates me. But yeah, um, so I want to go work on our nether base because that's something that I've been wanting to work on, but I've got all these other spawn projects that I'm working on trying to get everything set for everyone so that way we can all you know enjoy Minecraft, enjoy you know, have easy access to everything. Um, so yeah, let's grab ourselves. I cooked up a bunch of stone. Um, 
ever so stone bricks. We can probably cook up a bunch more of this cobblestone we, that we just got from all the, uh, the cleanup that we just did. So that was one thing that was really beneficial about doing that was that we got a lot of cobblestone from that. So let's get those things put away. Um, I'll keep about 32 on me. Uh, keep those stacked. Yes, anything else I need here? Not really. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and head into the nether here. Let me just put these things uh, so they can start smelting in here. Uh, make my life a little bit easier. Grab all of this stuff out. All right, so yeah, let's head into the nether here, and uh, I'll show you guys. I haven't really actually done anything since last episode, to be honest. Um, maybe put in a few more stone slabs uh, and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. Huh? Oh, I'm out of arrows. Crud. Okay, don't hit that. I gotta get him away from this area. I gotta keep these fireballs. Ow. Shoot this way. Okay, I don't worry about that. Let's get closer in on him. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, that's it. Come on. Oh. This guy's not gonna leave me alone. Despawn. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, don't start shooting my platform. Come on. No. Oh my gosh. He's not close enough. I can't hit him. Right there. Boom. Oh gosh, come on. Right there. Got him. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh let's start working here. Probably need to make more arrows, so that's a problem. Uh, cause you know, nether base, we need to make arrows. Okay, so let's uh get down our crafting table here, and let's make all of this into stone slabs. Should need a couple stacks. That should be good. I really want to get this project, like work on this project, and get a base in here, so that way I can put my chests in here and so forth and uh, move all my stuff into here, but you know we don't have an actual base, we just have whatever's going on in here. So yeah, let me place down all these stone, what is this? Oh, that's my platform. I thought somebody built across there for some reason. Yeah, so let me uh, build all this up a little bit, guys, so I misplace all these blocks, and uh, I'll come back and uh, we'll start working on more interior design here for our new base. All right, guys, so we got this area covered over in stone slabs, so that way no more zombie pigmen are gonna spawn inside of our base. But uh, this is what annoys me right here. What is, what is, did I run out of stone bricks here? I think I might have, but there's an explosion right here that I didn't create. And this is what really annoys me, is whenever somebody has a creeper or a cast explosion and doesn't fix my base. This is my base. <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys. Um, so, I'm doing a lot of complaining this episode. I shouldn't be. It's not my, it's not, they don't have the materials, I don't think, to fix it all. So yeah, I need to run back to my base and grab some more andesite, because I want to use some of that for the flooring. And I know this is going to cause a few zombie pigmen to spawn, um, but I'm okay with that. I just don't want uh, a giant family of zombie pigmen running around inside my base and messing with everything. Uh, so, yes, that's all cooking up good. Uh, let's uh, grab ourselves. Do we have our andesite in here? Yes, polished andesite. There we go. We've got a few more here. Uh, we'll make that all into polished again. Um, one extra. Any? Nope, don't have uh, any more there. Alright, so yes, I think I have everything I need. Oh, I do want to grab some glass, and we're going to just use normal glass panes. I'm not going to make it into panes, though, yet, because uh, I want to make sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, make it into normal glass panes. I'm trying to figure out everything else, if I need anything else, actually. Hmm, maybe some jack-o'-lanterns? I don't know, we'll figure it all out once we get our base actually built. So yeah, let's head back into the portal real quick. All right, guys, so we're back here in the base, and uh, let's just start working on, let's just work on this room for today's episode. So one, two, three, how high do we want this to go? Probably up to here. Hmm. You know, what we could do is go up another two here, and then what, what we'll have happen is we'll have, like, like this 
will be its own building, if this makes sense. Uh, this will be like its own area in here, and we'll just have an entrance to it from here. But then we can go up like a minecart elevator up to the ceiling or whatever. We'll have like different areas to our base, like different buildings. That could be cool. Um, that's what we'll do. We'll do that. So let's just do this like so. Um, that's the same height, correct? Yes. And uh, we're just going to go like this. And then probably what I'm going to do is replace this dirt with andesite. Uh, it is. It will wear down my shovel durability a little bit, but uh, it will allow us to have a, a much higher ceiling, which is something I do want to accomplish uh, with this base. The idea is that it's going to be a laboratory, and it's gonna. You know, I love building laboratories now. It's one of my things I want to start building more of. Um, and so this will make it kind of nice to have like an area to build all of my redstone machines and so forth. I'm not gonna go too crazy with like giant farms because that's what we ran into problems with last season was a lot of my farms were lagging the server so we'll have to be kind of careful about that but maybe some cobblestone generators and so forth. oops I actually wanted to go down a block so yeah this is where it gets a little bit scary but what we'll do is just go along like this and uh, I don't have very much dirt to repair all this stuff but go in here and place this down get all this fixed um, yeah you're going down this way Goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Say goodbye to this guy. He's going down. Goodbye. Rip zombie pickle. Alright, and then we shouldn't worry about too much of any, any extra breaking because we've got the andesite here. So yeah, let me fill in the floor with andesite and uh, I'll come right... This looks really good. I'm liking how this is looking. Our base is really coming together very nicely. I'm very, very excited about it. So yeah. Let me do this real quick, guys, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll continue working. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode. Unfortunately, we're out of time for today's episode. We did a lot of work. Very pleased about how much we got done. We've done so, so much work here for Spawn. I've got so much, so many ideas um, for what we want to do. Ooh, somebody found melons. Nice. I didn't notice that before. Uh, but yeah, we've got the quarry laid out here. I don't have a shovel, good shovel to dig with anymore. Um, really, that shovel wasn't any good, so I kind of broke it and decided not to repair it. Um, so yeah, got the quarry laid out here. Hopefully no creeper blasts will take anything out. we got to work on mob proof in the area a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's test this out for sure, make sure it works. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. New to the channel, hit the subscribe button as well as hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.